Snipe Squad, where they going? Oh, where? I'm talking about oh, 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 oh. It is your boy, Sniper Jones. As y'all can see, man, I am hype right now, bro. On oh, dog. Today is not a regular video. Today, we ain't doing it like we used to do. You know what I'm saying? Today, I'm bringing y'all a shoe that y'all can't find anywhere, man. So before we get into that review, make sure you follow me on Instagram where I do giveaways on my story and I'm always posting some of the latest pics you can find on the gram. Also, subscribe to the channel if you new, man. I just hit AK, but you already know, man, we grinding trying to hit that 10K before the end of the year. We gotta make that happen. So if you are not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. This pair of sneakers were super, super duper. Listen, bro, they was limited, all right? I ain't gonna hold you. They were straight up limited. Very, very limited. Now, the original drop was at Complex Kind, which was in LA, Long Beach to be exact, and they only had a specific limited amount of pairs that was given there. But after they released at Complex Kind, they had a foot action out in LA that did a separate release and Listen, bruh, that might have been the most hectic release in a long, long time. Recently, my last video I just did, what was that? Damn, I just forgot. Recently, in my last video, I just reviewed the Rookie of the Year ones, and I said, I quote, your boy Snapper John Jones said that the best Jordan one of the year was the Rookie of the Year ones. Well, well, you can scratch that, because your boy Snapper John Jones, I got something a little bit hotter than that, you know what I'm saying? That's on dog. Listen, man, I'm super happy to bring these to y'all. Like I said, not a lot of people have them. Now, if you already looked at any of my recent videos, I've already brought you guys the Chicago Not For Resale release. Now, I'm able to bring y'all the LA pair, man. So I'm super happy that I'm just able to bring y'all these pairs, man. This is my third review in like three days. I'm grinding, just trying to get these videos out to my squad, to my game, man. Y'all know what going on, boy, you know what I'm saying? I get excited when I do this shit. So, hey, man, y'all, hey, we about to run it up on this one. So, without further ado, let me just go ahead and bring them out. Yeah, let me just go ahead and bring them out. hi Woo! It's some heat in this box. It is some heat in this box. Size 12. Man, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I'm low-key reviewed out, bro. I've been reviewing sneakers for just about all week, bro. God, at least a lot of heat that's been dropping. And I'm just happy I'm able to bring it to y'all at the end of the day because y'all can go anywhere else. But y'all choose your boy Snapper John John. The color coded on this pair is Cell Black Varsity and Maze. I don't know what the hell Maze is. But it's on here though, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's on the shoe. Pop the top, hiya! Man, just looking at these are absolutely crazy. I'ma take it out and show y'all, man, these are the LA exclusive, not for resale Jordan 1s. Man, looking at these, like I said earlier, bro, I already did the Chicago pair. That's like the one that's like the white, black, and red pair that look like more like the Chicago Bulls colorway. In my opinion, this pair is much better than the Chicago ones. I said that in my Chicago review. To me, I think this yellow pop, and on top of that, you we get so many white, black, and red Jordan 1s. It's always refreshing when you can get a different colorway of Jordan 1s because we've been getting so many this year. Now I know Jordan Brand had dropped like an orchard or an orchard uh, colorway that kind of resembled this a little bit. But the reason why I like these way, way more is because these kind of got like that off-white feel to it when it comes to like the labeling. Please let me know down below in the comments who were able to get these, man. Once again, shout out to my guy, Retro Rico, so I could give you guys this review. I will link him as always down below in my description. I told y'all the boy get his pairs, so hit him up if you're looking for something in particular. Like I said, people from all over the world, it's only one foot action that had this pair. That was in Los Angeles. So you had people all over the world trying to hit up people, trying to get to this store, trying to hit on their apps so they can actually get their pairs. The problem was when people actually hit from out the country, nobody wanted to take the flight. I believe flights from LA was like $800 to $600, which is crazy, man. So a lot of people hit on this shoe, but not a lot of people went out and actually got their pairs. Now, I've heard stories and I heard rumors that the foot action that was out there in LA was backdooring pairs, man. Everybody who was unable to actually come claim their pair, they just backdoored them, man. Like, usually you're supposed to give the remaining pairs to the first come, first serve, guys. But this shoe was actually reselling for like $1,000, close to it. it. Last time I checked, it was like 900 and some change. But I'm pretty sure it's up there close to at least 
900, the upper 900s, or 1,000 already. You can only imagine people that's working at Foot Locker getting paid that minimum wage plus commission. They get a shoe that they can just shut out the back door for a rack or maybe like seven, even 700. It's a steal on this shoe. They gonna do it in a heartbeat, bro. So I feel sorry for the people who came up there to get the leftover pairs, but you already know, bro. That back door, and that's, that's just a part of the game, man. So, y'all already know how we gonna do this, man. I'm gonna break this shoe down and show y'all the ins and outs of this Jordan 1 not for resale. This is the LA edition once again. Please let me know which one did y'all like better. Did y'all like the Chicago one or the LA one? And uh, I will reply to those comments down below in the comment section. But without further ado, let's get into the full breakdown of this heat. You feel me? Super original. This shoe is starting off with a yellow bottom sole. The yellow bottom sole automatically just get this shoe some flavor, bro. I love the yellow color blocking that's on this shoe. I think it's super dope. Of course, you got that Nike logo with the swoosh right up under it in the center of the sole and moving up to the midsole. As always, you got your white midsole, but it has the huge stamping, the famous stamping, the reason why this shoe is what it is, not for resale. Now, Jordan Brand, I give them their credit because even though this shoe is being resold for thousands, I kind of feel like they took a stand. A lot, of, a lot of people had a problem with me saying that in my last video when I reviewed the Chicago's. What I meant by that was, obviously, you know, it's a lot of resellers in the game. Like, obviously, you know what I'm saying? It is a sneaker game. It just what comes with it. I feel like when they dropped this shoe, they were trying to trying to come out with a limited pair obviously but at the end of the day they were just trying to say hey listen man it's just shoes at the end of the day so you get the not for resale sound right here on the midsole and then on the uppers we're gonna start in the toe box the right toe box because this is the right shoe it says crease the other one says please so you put them together obviously it says crease please so that's once again it's basically them telling you to wear the shoe now i remember down here in atlanta a few local stores got the chicago release and in order to have your pair they made you literally put the shoe on and walk out. I heard stories like they was making dudes, you know what I'm saying? They was making dudes come through, you gotta wear them out and they keep the box just so you can't sell the stock X and stuff like that. We all know that if you sell on stock X and you don't have a box, they're automatically not gonna take it, it's not credible. And on top of that, you know, they really be on it, making sure that they DS or they making you walk out stores and they keeping the box. So they really trying to make sure people is rocking their kicks when you gonna cop them. The tumble leather on this toe box is absolutely crazy. This toe box is even better than the rookie of the years I showed. In my opinion, like I said, bro, I, I can't lie. Like, this material is undefeated. It, it really is. A lot of you guys aren't really going to get a chance to see them due to how limited they are. But if you go to any sneaker cons or any sneaker shows, and if you get a chance to actually see the material of this shoe, bro, you should definitely give it a look. Moving along to the front panel of the shoe, you get that tumble leather material going all through the forefront of the shoe, and of course you get it going through the Nike swoosh as well. Once again, on the inner lining of the shoe, you get your Nike swoosh, and you get that tumble leather going across the swoosh and on the side panel. Another dope thing I love about this shoe is how it says no photos. We all know I take a lot of pics on Instagram. Um, a lot of people on the gram, you know what I'm saying, they take a lot of pics and a lot of times they don't be rocking their pairs. You know what I'm saying? They just take pics and don't be rocking them. So that's them once again nudging you to say, hey, look, man, don't take a pic without, you know what I'm saying, throwing them on, wear them if you're going to take a pic. Can't think again to wear shoes. They're not for resale. Another dope quality on the right shoe, the tongue. The tongue says wear. Show you right there. Yup, says wear right here. And of course, on the inner lining of the shoe, on the inside right here, it says general release. So that is the right shoe. The left shoe has a few other pieces. Let me pick up the left shoe real quick. In the left shoe, the tongue says me. And on the left shoe, on the inner side, it says sorry, this pair is not numbered. We all know that. Limited pairs like limited edition Jordan ones all come with like numbers on them Say if you got something like the Ben 13s It'll tell you you got one out of whatever two out of whatever basically saying that your pair is limited And this is what number you have out of the ones that were manufactured and made for the public But the message is dope man once again you put these shoes together and the tongue says wear me The toe box it says crease please you turn them around and the back heel says no photos man This is super dope and once again man like I said this shoe was super super limited and I'm happy that be able to bring y'all this W Quick reminder guys for everybody who's been asking questions about that Sniper Jones merch It will be dropping in December 
please be ready for that it's gonna be super limited just because I'm not sure how well it's gonna do so I don't really want to order too many sizes and order too much merch and be stuck with it merch will be limited but thank you for everybody who's been asking questions about it just know it's coming very soon Last but not least sneaker con Houston I will be there December 1st man so if anybody is gonna be in the area of Houston make sure you come up to sneaker con jump in the vlog kick it with me for the day it's only a one day event so let's try to make it lit as we possibly can if you like this video make sure you leave a thumbs up matter of fact man hey listen bro listen i've been grinding non-stop on dog i mean video after video right now as we speak it's like 3 a.m leave a thumbs up down below for the video man i'm trying to get these joints out asap y'all see the energy this is my energy at 3 a.m i gotta come with it you know what i'm saying i can't leave the squad hanging that's on dog leave a like down below follow me on instagram where you can see some of the dopest pics on foot and just man i do giveaways on the story also once again subscribe to the channel if you new and of course i'm gonna show y'all some b-roll of this sneaker and uh yes bro that is it i'm done it is your boy sniper jones until next time i will catch up with y'all gang gang